with me. Gotta let your soul grow. That's how you plant dandelions. Just blow, blow, blow. There's bubbles coming up. Wait, now we're going to talk about froggies. Like, a step, level one, picking up a frog. Level two is just touching a frog which is the stage I'm at. Level three, asking the frog, which is the next level after two. A robin? I hear a robin around me. I wonder what's happening. Today I went down to the frog to catch bullfrogs and green frogs. But the mosquitoes are too thick. If you make an X in your mosquito bites, it makes the mosquito bites go away. And it stops itching. Mm. Falls down. So this is the important part. You put a cracker with peanut butter on it. Underneath the box. So when you, what do you think happens? Chimon goes in. <laughs> yeah. Then like, peanut, they love peanut um, butter. No, um, <laughs> so he eats the peanut butter just, and then what do you do? Just put peanut butter in the box. Uh huh. But then what do you do with this? What happens? When the chip, when you're the, holding the string, you're hiding in the bush. And the chipmunk comes, pull it. Yeah! Bang! Chipmunk Yay, pet. I got a chipmunk! Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a milk snake. As long as you. As long as you be careful with it. It doesn't get aggressive. This is a dandelion. See, the dandelion is a very helpful plant. You can make tea out of the roots. And out of the flower, you can make a yummy eat. snack. Yum, yum, yum. You can eat the flower as a snack. At first, it's yellow, which is when you can eat it. Then it turns to this, and all the seeds go away. And then, once they're going to get like that, and they will do the same. And then, they go to that. Now we're going to move on to Emily with planting. Planting is helpful for your cuts, like, like, um, the one I have on my foot. So, what do you do, what you do is, 
you take some plantain and then chew it up. Put it in your mouth and chew it up like this. You take it out and put it on your cut. And if you need more, just take the same plant and get some more. You know it's plantain because it's an oval. <laughs> Emily, look at it and tell me. <laughs> well, it has a little bit of stem. Mm -hmm. Oh, and if you pull it all up, it has. You can see that it has purple on the bottom. Mm. Like this is bugle weed. It has a square stem, like mint, but it's not mint. It's beautiful weed. And when the um, stems are... No, oh, sorry. All right. The stems are furry. And the, when the leaves are purple and blue, it means they're ripe. And it's just like plantain, only it, um, only it works for bru bruises and cuts. This is a buttercup. Poisonous. If you can look very closely, there's spit from a spittle bug. Very gross and sticky. Oh gosh, I got some on me. That's nice. Renanglacia. This is buttercup. You can't eat it, it's gonna kill you. Throw your stuff on my chin. Uh, you should know that you shouldn't eat this plant because it's called, even though it's called buttercup. Poison! Poison! We're not gonna it. This is a raspberry plant. This will have three leaves. The stems will be kind of fair and some pine, it'll, some needles. The bottom of the leaves are white. You can make a tea out of the dried up leaves, which is full of vitamins and minerals, so it can be used for a medicine. And in the summer, of course, you can um, eat, eat the raspberries. It. It's very good. And those two have I hate vitamins. food. <laughs> so, this is a comfy leaf. It can't be used on deep cuts or puncture wounds because it only um, helps the top of the skin. On the bottom, it feels like fur, like very like shaggy. On the top, <laughs> on the top is like looks bumpy, but it. And it can grow like this high or even bigger. It's just like plantain. You just um, bite it and then chew it and put it on one of your cuts. This is wild strawberry. <laughs> and um, I don't know what. Oh, here's a flower. Kind of looks like a buttered cup, but it's not. So the leaves, the leaves can be used for tea which will help, which is a stringent wash. And the uh, leaves in the tea, the leaves in a tea, or lots of strawberry fruits can help ease childbirth, which means it makes the baby come out easier. And that's not all. We're gonna go do another flower, come on. Come on. This is a violet, a violet flower. And it's heart-shaped leaf. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, the flowers are edible. Hold on, I had a bug on me. Mm. Mm. The leaves are edible. Hold on, let me show the flower. <coughs> Ow! Yummy. Bob. <laughs>